Hey there, Minecrafters, TJ here. So, yesterday I posted a video on the uh, Pixelmon server, specifically one run by RC Gamers. I mentioned the fact that there are nine Pixel servers, and then they also have a Kanto server. I had one individual who made a comment asking about what the difference was between the Pixel servers and Kanto server. Um, all the Pixel servers, the only difference would be who uh, chooses to play on them. So Pixels 1 through Pixel 9. Uh, personally, I play on Pixel 9. That's the one that I first started on for the Pixel servers. Um, I did play on Kanto at one point in time, um, but I haven't done that uh, that much recently. Um, so first of all, uh, we're going to go into Pixel 1, and you'll see the spawn that we go to first here. Um, show you around. Uh, you guys got to see this on the other video of Pixelmon and RC Gamers, and you'll notice that it looks identical. Um, there is no difference at all. Oops, here we go. We'll just fly over a bit as it's still kind of trying to load there but it is identical in every way um, the only difference or where you're going to see the big difference is players in this pixel will have built things in different places um, and those, so that's going to cause things to look a bit different other than that the same the map itself looks identical, so the same automatic terrain generated and everything like that. Um, I'll go back to the hub here. It looks like my connection is a little bit slower tonight. Um, and we're going to go over into Kanto. Um, now, like I said, I have played this. Uh, it has been a little while, so I honestly don't remember where I was at. Um, Kanto plays just like the Game Boy game. Uh, so you have all your different locations. Um, you know, right now I think this would be Cinnabar Island that I'm on. Um, I'm going to turn off my map there because it's got the other map stuff. Yeah, this would be Cinnabar. Uh, we have the volcano here. Um, you play through this just like the Game Boy game. Um, you can actually do all the same quests and even fight the Elite Four, which I have actually done. Uh, let's see. Oops. But, um, yeah, so, you know, you can actually teleport from and travel between the different uh, warps. I should have all of them. So we can go to, um, let's go to Victor City. This is one thing. So Victor City is where anyone that has beaten uh, the Elite Four, they can now go to this, and you can actually buy a plot. Uh, plots obviously have costs to them. Uh, costs that are incurred um, and they're not cheap enough for just any person to be in them but you know a lot of people that have been playing a while do have plots and some people have built rather large things in their plots um, like I said it's been a while since I've actually been here so I'm not that horribly familiar with everything that's going on in here um, it looks like there's actually an extra plot section. I know that was rumored to be happening. Uh, it had not happened when I previously was playing. But it looks like it has, so that's great. And it looks like it's pretty much filled up. Most people have bought something. Um, it's a pretty cool design there. But, um, yeah, so, you know, that's kind of the big the big difference. Um, in the actual Kanto world, you're not able to break any blocks. Um, let's see. Yeah, not at all. Nothing I can do. 
and that's because it's all a pre-made world. What you will find is Pokemon will spawn in the various locations, just like in the Game Boy game. So, for instance, we have the Nidorinos here, Ekans, Nidoran, Raticate. You can find all of the Pokemon within roughly the same uh, chance of finding them that you would find it in the Game Boy game. You also have characters like this, which, let's see, you know, I've already battled her, but, uh, you know, people from Team Rocket, um, from any different type of, uh, any of the people that you could fight in the game, you can fight in this. Uh, obviously, I do have the ability to fly, so that is something a little bit different that I have. Again, that's because I am a VIP from donating. I wanted to be able to give back to the server uh, because it was such a wonderful job was done on it. Um, but anyways, uh, this has been the video. Uh, I hope this kind of explains the question of what the difference is between the pixels and Kanto. And again, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for any future videos. Thanks, and I hope you all have a great day.